Hello and welcome to this open text video on how to perform an upgrade to Zenworks Service Desk to version 23.3. I'm Paul Pedron, the product manager of Zenworks Service Desk. Some of the agenda items will be to see some of the major features in the 23.3 version, upgrade strategies, other things like pre-upgrade and backup tasks or upgrade restore and post-upgrade tasks. We'll cover some system requirements, the appliance administration console, and we'll actually have a time-lapse demonstration of the appliance migration from 8.3x to 23.3. And there'll be other things like debug and login information resources and tips. Here's the full list of enhancements that will be in ZSD version 23.3 once it's completed. Items like secure multi-factor authentication or quick call views were overhauled. Customer profiles have been enhanced along with some new permissions for the customers for the customer to reopen calls, disable CC auto suggest, and customer need info email reminders. There are other features that were enhanced like searching for email alias addresses, new calendar views, and Amy import improvements. Along with cosmetic changes, especially the tool tip to explain how powerful the search tool is, giving you syntax along the way. Here are some reminders while you strategize your upgrade. Remember that it's an appliance architecture only since version 7.5. The OpenText upgrade now has the option of three month cadence, as well as security updates has the three months cadence as well. The ZSD 23.3 upgrade method is in place method. You verify system and database requirements. The system files and database schema are upgraded with each upgrade iteration. VM appliances have an embedded database pre-configured, but you can use external databases as well. Minor file directory structure changes between some earlier versions that are case sensitive. So keep a watch out for that if you're upgrading from previous versions. Keep administrators and passwords available, like the OS, the system, and the DBA's names available in case you need to call out to them and have a backout plan. Additional strategy reminders is the pre-upgrade verifications like time sync between servers and database should be in sync. Disk space requirements, again, for the appliance and for the database. And database and appliance are on the same subnets. Also, first-time appliance installs requires that additional virtual disk. And then post-upgrade, verify connect systems like email, LDAP, ZRS, ZCM. If you're connecting to those other systems, make sure you verify those that they're all connecting after the upgrade. And then connect to the online update registration channel in order to get that upgrade in all your security patches. How to get to the latest version? Well, depending on which version you are on, depends on the path and the method. If you have a system prior to 7.5, there are other videos that explain upgrading to version 7.5. Some pre-upgrade tasks would be when using an external database. If the DB is not supported in ZSD 23.3, upgrade the database first. And ZSD should be at version 8.3x before upgrading to version 23.3. Identify the network configurations and NTP settings. Verify expiration dates of internal and external certificates. Identify and document screenshots maybe of all the ZSD connected systems like email, LDAP, OpenID, any federation or two form factor authentication just so that you have that documented. This should be a regular company documentation that you can call on in case you have issues with your environment. And then backup. Service Desk Appliance Server and internal and ex or external database, make sure you have snapshots when powered down is best. Now the upgrade method, the one that's supported for version 23.3 is being at version 8.3x and you can do an in-place upgrade. The online update tile will prep the actual system and then the product upgrade tile will upgrade it. You will need to re-register and have that online update registration key that you'll find in your SLD. So pre-upgrade, you'll install the Service Desk release for Service Desk 831 in the online updates to prepare the appliance for the upgrade. Even if the appliance is already at ZSD 831, run this file because it preps that for the upgrade. 
You can then remain on 831 until you're ready to upgrade to 233. It'll still receive the online updates. You'll still be in the 83 channel to get all those security updates quarterly. And then when you're ready, you can go ahead and select the product upgrade tile at any time to initiate the version 233 upgrade. When you're doing the upgrade, you'll select the product upgrade tile to initiate the ZSD233 wizard. There's some instructions in the wizard. You'll accept the license agreement. You'll register to ZSD233 update channel. And the, remember, the registration key is in the OpenText SLD customer portal. Accept the warning about the appliance restart and restart after you're done. Also be aware that the 8.3 registration key works on the 23.3. So you'll find that online update registration key in SLD under the 8.3. Post upgrade, the database schema update will occur automatically. And you'll see this when you first go to the technician portal. Selecting close will present the ZSD technician portal. And now you can go ahead and log in and you can use those features in 23.3. Be sure to check the upcoming post upgrade tasks as well. Things like we talked about earlier, verify and restore external system communications. Make sure that those are all working correctly. There's a list here. Verify customizing and branding is still in place. Update the license if the entitlement did change. Apply online updates if there's any more security updates. Configure new features. Obviously, the two form factor, the permissions for the customer info reminder or new ZSD permissions. Make sure you have a backup or snapshot of the new ZSD233 server database and the components. And then update the company's ZSD system configuration documentation. Here are some resources that are available to you for the Zenworks Service Desk environment. How-to videos, customization scenarios, and configurations with other technical documents and videos. Let's walk through a quick demonstration of the install. Let's have a look at what you'll see when you do your upgrade. So we're just going to look into the technician console and see that in this particular case, we are at 8.30. So we're going to go over to our appliance and log into the appliance administration console. You'll see again that we're at 830. You'll notice that there's an online update with an exclamation point showing that there's available updates to be put on this particular box. And we have the quarterly updates for security patches, of course, for this version. But we also have other things like the A31 service desk. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade to 831. Now, if you're already on 831, you'll go through the same process and you'll see a service release. Go ahead and run that. Select update now once you're registered to the channel. There will be a reboot required. So we'll go ahead and hit OK here and let it run its course for installing the security updates and that service desk release, Zenworks Service Desk 831. If you're currently on 831, it will then prepare the machine for the 23.3 update, just like it will for the 830. And we'll see this in just a moment. Now that the security updates are complete uh, and installed, it'll refresh on that 8.3x channel to see if there's any others. And since there are none, we'll go ahead and hit close. Notice the reboot needed here. And we'll go ahead and select that. There's also an 8.3.1, so it's already prepped and ready to go for 8.3.1. We just need to reboot. So we'll go ahead and reboot and select OK. And while that reboot is in progress, we'll go ahead and look at the SLD. Again, log into your customer portal SLD, software downloads. When you get to your product, you can then download the service desk update channel registration key. If you don't have it readily available, just go to your product downloads. 
This can be found in the ZenWorks Configuration Management Suite, or your Entitlements, or in ZenWorks Service Desk. You should be able to get this Update Channel text file, which has that key in it for the registration. We'll go ahead and refresh our ZenWorks Service Desk Technician Portal and log in once it's completely restarted. We can see that it has restarted here on the appliance. You'll see this on the update. It has to take care of the database as well. So it's upgrading the schema and does other activities on the database. Once it's complete, it'll tell you successful and you can hit close. You can see here database has successfully been upgraded to version 8.3.1. We'll go ahead and hit close here. We'll go ahead and log in. We can see here that we are now at 8.3.1. All right. If we go into our appliance administration console, we'll then see that we are fully at 831 with a product upgrade tile available to us. Now we can remain on 831 until we're ready to move there and you'll use the online updates for any security updates and patches that are sent out quarterly or we can then progress to the product upgrade. If you started this process on 831, it'll basically come to the same location here waiting for you to select product upgrade. We're gonna go ahead and select product upgrade now and upgrade it to ZenWorks 23.3. It'll perform a little wizard here that will give you some details about the update and you can go ahead and hit start to accept. Once we accept the license agreement, it'll give us a prompt to log into the 23.3 channel to get all the updates. We'll go ahead and register with that key we pulled off of SLD. We've now successfully registered to the 23.3 update channel. And you can see in the background that the ZenWorks Service Desk 23.3 is available. We can then hit update at any time. And again, it will request for a reboot once it's complete. It brought us back to the product upgrade and of course a reboot is required. Again, you can see that it's prepped for 23.3. Now all we have to do is reboot to get to that 23.3 level. We'll go ahead and do a reboot here and wait for our appliance to reboot. The OS has started. Now it's gonna start up the service desk services. We'll go ahead and log into both of these. We see we're at 23.3. If we go over to the technician portal again, it's doing the upgrades to the schema. Once it's complete, It'll give us a message that the database has been successfully upgraded. We'll hit close. And we can then log into ZenWorks Service Desk. And within a matter of uh, 20, less than 20 minutes, we can have our system upgraded to 23.3 with all the latest features. You also notice on the administration console that product upgrade tile is no longer visible. 
because it's at the latest version level. Thank you for watching this short demo on ZSD Upgrade. Now that we've gone through the demonstration, let's look at some specifics about the ZSD product, depending on your current version, to help you strategize your upgrade. This is the upgrade system requirements for the methods used to do the upgrades, depending on which version you're on. There is also this table, which gives us the server OSs used in each version. This table displays the database requirements for each version. This displays the supported hypervisors for the ZSD versions. And then you have this table for the hardware requirements for each version. And finally, some of the files that may need tweaking in your environment and their location. Remember, this is case sensitive. And the ZSD administration console has different tiles depending on the user login, root or SD admin. So you can see the differences here. Here are a few technical documents in case you need to troubleshoot or make settings in your environment. Things like debug mode and the lifetime logs, and then some memory changes. Some additional tips about end user portal and older version video resources in case you need to get up to a certain point to get to 23.3. Finally, some common commands that can be run in the appliance for starting and stopping the Jetty service, the service desk service, and the database service if you have an internal database. And also looking up which version you have on the appliance. In this presentation, we've talked about major features, upgrade strategies, pre upgrade and backup tasks, along with upgrade, restore, and post upgrade tasks, system requirements, the appliance console a little bit, and the appliance migration demonstration itself. Debug and login information, resources, and tips. Thank you for your attention during this presentation of upgrading ZSD 233.